We're doing a little science experiment today and it's a really easy one and it's super fun and really educational. We are gonna be making our own DNA from fruit. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Super excited about this one. It's been a while since I've done a science experiment. I have a couple I've done before in the past. I'm gonna link those down below so you can go check them out after you watch this video. Basically, kitchen science, things you can do with everyday objects in your house. In today's video, we are gonna be making DNA. Well, actually not making it, extracting it from fruit. It's super easy, it's really cool, and it's a great way to learn about DNA. So let's get started. You're gonna need a few household items for this experiment. The first would be strawberries. I have three, you can use a couple, just make sure the stems are off. A measuring cup and a clear glass or a cup, you can use a plastic one. Some dishwashing liquid, a little bit of salt, a baggie with a zip lock, a rubber band, and a coffee filter. If you don't have a coffee filter, you can also use a kitchen strainer instead. And then you're gonna need at least 70% proof alcohol or rubbing alcohol. The first step is to take those stems off your strawberries and place them inside your plastic bag. Seal it up really nice and tight, and then you're going to mush the strawberries. So what you're doing is breaking down the cell walls of the strawberries. Be careful not to break your bag though. Make sure they're really good and smushed, making sure all those large bits are fully smushed up so you don't have any large chunks. Once you have all of that combined, you can set the mixture aside, and then we're going to work on our second mixture. This is gonna help us to break down the cell walls. So in a mixing bowl, I'm taking that about a third a cup of water, and then about a tablespoon of dish soap. I'm actually just kind of eyeballing here. The dish soap is gonna help break down the cell walls. Then we're gonna put in about a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't really need that much, just about a pinch, and the salt is gonna help clump the DNA strands all together. Mix together very well in a bowl, and I'm just using a straw here to just stir it all up. Once it's all combined, we're gonna set up our strainer. Now, like I said, if you have a kitchen strainer, you could use that instead. I'm gonna actually make a strainer with a coffee filter. At this point, make sure you take your rubbing alcohol and you place it in the freezer for about 30 minutes so it's nice and cold. We're gonna use it later, but for now, you can set it in there. So I'll take my clear cup, I'm using a glass one, just so you can actually see what's happening in it. You can use a plastic one and that's totally fine. I'm gonna place the coffee filter over it and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, kind of like a little bowl in the filter because this is gonna act as a strainer. The rubber band helps to hold everything together so I'm gonna put that on top and then make sure I have that room right in the center so it will be my strainer. Or you can use a kitchen strainer. Then put your mixture into your strawberry bag. You might wanna use a funnel for this just to make it a little bit easier. Make Make sure that air comes out of there and then seal it up really good and mix it all together. You're gonna to get this kind of frothy texture to it. You'll have to do it gently because you don't want any holes in your bag. You do this for about two minutes and your DNA is going to start to separate. Next, you're gonna pour this mixture over your filter. The cell walls are gonna stay on top of the filter and the DNA is gonna go through the filter all the way to the bottom. Now, I let this set for several minutes so that makes sure as much of it goes through the filter as it possibly can. It's a very slow drip, so you're gonna have to have some patience. When it's about ready to be done, I went ahead and took off the filter and then squeezed the excess into my cup. You don't have to do this step if you wait long enough, but this just helps to get the last remaining bits out into my cup. And here's what it looks like when it's in the cup by itself. Now the DNA is in there, but we want to see it. So we're gonna use the rubbing alcohol to pull the DNA out of the solution. When you put the rubbing alcohol in, you're not trying to mix it, you're trying to float the rubbing alcohol on top. And what you're looking for here is equal parts rubbing alcohol to your strawberry solution. So I'm taking it really slow here and placing it on the edge of the glass so that it doesn't mix up too much. And what this does is that the DNA starts to come into the alcohol. You can see it's starting to separate right here in this shot. I let this sit for a couple minutes until it was pretty much done. And then what you can do is see your DNA at the top. I took a toothpick and just lifted it on up and there you have it, there is your strawberry DNA. 
What you can do at this point is make some observations about your strawberry DNA. You can talk about how it looks, what the texture might be like, how it smells, and lots more. Pretty cool experiment to do. You can probably try it with some other fruits to see how well it goes. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this experiment or if you are going to try it. Guys, if you liked that video, I'm gonna put another one up here on screen so you can go check it out next. I'll see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.